Hello everyone and now welcome to game number three. Game number three taking place here on Last Refuge as we are all tied up at one game apiece. Moon unable to get the economic advantage away from Yaws as Yaws was able to attack with a much larger army even though he was inferior in terms of overall hero level. Yaws spawning on the top right hand side of Last Refuge. Meanwhile over here on the bottom left Moon has spawned as the Red Night Elf scout farm is in position and will keep track of things at least for a little while. Ancient of War tanking a lot of this damage here as the Ogre Warrior and Forest Troll Trappers will get taken out. Demon Hunter wants to get to level um, level 3 very, very quickly, or excuse me, level 2 very, very quickly, and then level 3 to be able to mana burn and shut down. Meanwhile, Yaws has placed down a number of scout farms all throughout the map, making it very easy to figure out when that Demon Hunter will be perhaps approaching and trying to take down this expansion location. Archmage just now finishing off this 5-3-3 creep camp here. And this is a little bit later than normal, but because I, I guess of the delayed positioning on those farms, um, things are not going to work out nearly as well. All right, there goes one peasant there. Demon Hunter just shy. Are we going to see a little bit more damage added again? It is not beneficial to trade two peasants for one archer at this stage, but the Demon Hunter may try and fit, do it anyways. There it goes. There's the denial as the Demon Hunter now going after some of those units. All right, there you go. Yaz picking up units, trying to go back all the way every which way. It looks as though that will get taken out, but the footman gets in front. Demon Hunter completely surrounded, unable to escape, being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal that early as two peasants do get taken out. 3 minutes 30 seconds into this game one scroll of town portal already used but the demon hunter is ready to go back at it and ready to uh, just dive in and try and take them on meanwhile archmage sitting at level 1 needs to get to level 2 here and will be able to do exactly that in just a few moments demon hunter picking up perhaps staff of teleportation yes he will as he is still running perhaps off to the north all right, there is an illusion right there. That is going to be completely ignored. Archmage needs to drop a Water Elemental, does do so in time, but still going to take a little bit of damage once again. All right, Footman taking a little bit of damage right there. Units are now switching back the other which way. Mana Burn could be coming across as no, not just quite yet. So far, Archer is now trying to slip back out here. Meanwhile, we see an illusion engaging off over there as the Demon Hunter going to go ahead and head after Nope, not heading after that footman. However, Moon is setting up an Ancient Protector just beyond sight range during Nightfall. And once more, Yaws does not have that tower up in time. This tower, um, without the tower, it, it that's a bigger point of focus. One peasant going to get taken out. There goes one Demon Hunter now sitting at level 2. Evasion is going to be on the play. There's that mana burn just a little bit late as we're going to see another bit of damage being added. Yaws losing more and more peasants as we see the town hall could in fact get taken out. All right, Ancient Protector is off over here. Are they going to see a little bit of bounce damage? Yes, we are. Yaws finally losing that there and the town hall nearly completed but not yet done. Demon Hunter ready to engage. Huntress is, is off over here. Is it going to shadow melt again? There's the dust of appearance as the attacks are now underway. All right, however, with one Bonus Ancient Protector right in this position here. Fortified Armor. It is going to be very difficult to take out. 600 hit points as the Demon Hunter is going to be going after some of these units. All right, there's some more damage again. Demon Hunter finishing off unit after unit after unit. There goes another unit there. Still a big unit surround here as we may see this one. Oh, it's Staff of Teleportation heading back away. It's going to be able to teleport away as the Huntress is still running around off over here. Perhaps it's going to be able to engage and take down some of those units. All right, let's take a look. Huntress now running back off to the north. It looks as though that's going to be a little bit of damage right there. Ancient Protector could uproot itself and get into position. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter is ready to come back here and fight once more. Tree of Life is being built back down. Demon Hunter does not really care about that right there. As you see, the Ancient Protector is going to be eating some trees. It really should have rooted itself, but it is now able to use melee attacks, which I believe is actually faster and better than the ranged attack there. The only big difference is that it doesn't have fortified armor, 
as the footmen are not going to get taken down. All right, Ancient Protector down to 110 some odd hit points. More militia being called over as more units are going to be coming into position once again. All still, Yaw's losing a lot of units. Demon Hunter sitting at level 3 now. Mana Burn should be coming across here in just a moment. There's the Mana Burn there. Water Elemental unable to focus down. The Ancient Protector. Ancient Protector is still regenerating hit points off of the trees. There's a dust of appearance, but maybe too little, too late, as the Demon Hunter going to chase after this footman here. All right, Ancient Protector still making his way off to the north. Huntress is going to clean up this expansion, and it looks as though Moon is going to take this game before Yaws really sets up economically as that Ancient Protector is slowly encroaching on this expansion location. The Demon Hunter sitting at level 3, Mana Burn against a level 2 Archmage. Not a very, very easy fight at all. You see more militia being called over. Demon Hunter is going to be having be forced to back off here if he's not careful. And you can see all of those units coming back around. He's running every which way. Archmage does have boots of speed. But back across here, we still see more damage being had. And Yaws does give the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.